Hey there, I'm Chris from Fugo, and this is the Raspberry Pi 5, the latest Raspberry Pi model to hit the scene. And today, I'm gonna to be unboxing it and setting it up to be used for digital signage with Fugo. Now, if you're new to the Raspberry Pi, it's a compact computer that plugs into TVs, monitors, and other digital displays, and has a range of capabilities similar to regular PCs. Now, you can use it to browse the web or stream content, albeit with some performance limitations. It's a favorite among tinkerers and techies who use it in a wide range of DIY hardware projects. Its low price and wide availability have made it a cheap entry point for digital signage and a DIY solution for displaying things like company messaging or KPIs and metrics on TV screens. Now, if you've already got your Raspberry Pi ready and want to set it up with Fugo, skip to the timestamp right here for the setup instructions. Now, if you're using an older model like the 4, don't worry, the setup instructions will work for you too. Now, let's get this thing set up. The Raspberry Pi 5 has the same basic form factor as the Raspberry Pi 4, but you'll notice a few new components on the board this time round. A Cortex-A76 CPU and a Video Core 7 GPU. An RPI chip, this guy right here controls the USB 2 and USB 3 ports, which, thanks to the chip, now have their own independent bandwidth. This means double the bandwidth of the Raspberry Pi 4. So, what do these hardware upgrades mean for performance? Well, the new CPU and architecture run at a higher clock speed, 2.4 GHz versus the 1.5 GHz. Recent benchmarks show it's nearly twice as slow as the Apple M1, which is just another way to say it's actually really fast. The new GPU makes video playback a lot better. It's about two and a half times faster than the GPU of the Raspberry Pi 4. And since you can connect to external graphics cards now, it's a lot easier to get the graphical output you want. The newer generation of RAM provides a much faster, smoother experience. Raspberry Pi 5 uses LPDDR4X, which runs at 4,266 megabytes per second pin. It also cuts latency by more than half. The updated SD card slot runs much faster. Benchmarks show 90 megabytes per second on the Pi 5 versus 46 megabytes per second on the Pi 4. The Wi-Fi module is the same as the Raspberry Pi 4, but now runs twice as fast. And to top it all off, the Raspberry Pi 5 is now 50% more power efficient than the Raspberry Pi 4. Benchmarks consistently show performance improvements of over 200%, which means it can handle larger and longer content more easily. To put all of this in simple terms, if you're using Raspberry Pi 5 as a digital signage player, it's now gonna support better playback performance of your content, especially if you rely on it for more CPU and GPU intensive content like video or dashboards. Fugo is one of the first digital signage softwares to fully support our app on the Raspberry Pi 5. With the release of the 5, we've done some refactoring of our existing Raspberry Pi app. As a result, Fugo is even simpler to install on the devices than it used to be. And connecting your Raspberry Pi to your internet connection is now easier than ever. Let's set one up. Here's what you'll need. Your Raspberry Pi device, a USB-C connector, a micro SD card, a micro SD card reader, a HDMI to micro HDMI cable, a keyboard, and a mouse. Now, to keep things simple, you may want to purchase a Raspberry Pi 5 starter kit, and I'll drop a link to that in the description below. Now, for this video, I'm gonna skip over connecting your component parts and setting up the Raspberry Pi operating system on your player, and jump straight into installing Fugo. Now, I've got my SD card inserted into my computer, and the first thing I'll do is download the Fugo image. I'll drop the guide containing that link below. Now, I'll unzip the file, and while the name may vary, the output file should always have the extension .img. The next step is to flash the .img file onto my SD card. I'll be using Bellina Etcher, and we encourage you to use it too. I'll insert the SD card into the SD card reader and I'll click flash from file. 
Now I'll select the extracted image. Click Select Target. Choose the SD card that I inserted earlier and click Flash. Now, if you're a Mac user, the OS will ask for a password at this point. And then I'll wait while the flashing process finishes. Once that's done, you can insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi. Now we're ready to connect to the internet. Now, if you'll be using Ethernet before your very first boot, make sure to connect your Ethernet cable first. If you've booted up for the first time without connecting your Ethernet cable, plug in the Ethernet cable and power the device off and back on. If the setup was successful, you'll see the Fugo pairing pin on your screen and you can jump to the timestamp here to finish pairing your screen to Fugo. Now, if you're connecting to Wi-Fi, here's what to do. After inserting your SD card, turn on the device. The first boot will take a little longer than usual because the system is initializing. After a minute or two, you'll be launched into our network manager. Choose your local network from the list and enter your password. Quick tip, you can get back to your network manager at any point by pressing Alt plus Tab on your keyboard. This may come in handy if you've already established a Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection before and need to reset it. Now, once your Raspberry Pi is booted with the Fugo image, you'll see a pairing pin displayed on screen. Log into Fugo CMS from the browser of your computer. Click Create, then Screen. Alternatively, you can get to the pairing page by clicking Screens in the top navigation bar, then Create Screen. Enter the pairing code, give your screen a name, and add its location if you want to be able to find it in Fugo's Map Viewer. With the setup complete, your new screen will now be listed on your screens page, and you're ready to push content to it from Fugo. Fugo allows you to display content from virtually any source. Whether you're creating your content in our slide designer from scratch or pulling it from systems your team uses already. That includes high-res media, integrations with third-party tools and dashboards, or web pages that live behind a secure login. I'm just gonna publish a playlist to my screen to see it in action. And there you go. This screen is currently being controlled by this Raspberry Pi. Head to fugo.ai to learn more about what's possible on screen and make sure to check out our help center for more guidance on using Fugo. And of course, thanks for watching.